where Paul said they find him in second place, and it's Sayer Denker won the car in Eclipse. What a tremendous performance, a really marvellous performance by the Derby winner, Mill Reed. Running up towards the line, Alamanamo it is, that's the most, Alamanamo wins the Eclipse, folks. Opera House is going to lift the car in Eclipse, Bissell rallies close home, Opera House of Bissell, a photo Opera House of Bissell. Back close home in smoke contest, and Hawkwing wins the Eclipse. The 1997 Coral Eclipse is the race that really sticks in my memory. It was won, of course, by Pilsudski, but it's more relevant for the third-placed horse, Bosra Sham, or rather her jockey, Kieran Fallon. Fallon had left Jack and Linda Ramsden in Yorkshire to take the job as Henry Cecil's stable jockey. This was one of his first high-profile rides. Things didn't go his way. He was blocked in. He felt afterwards that some of the southern boys had ganged up on him, in the end, Bosra Sham was third. This led to massed ranks of catawailing on the part of both Cecil and Captain Tim Bulwalong, who was Wafik Saeed's racing manager, the owner, of course, of Bosra Sham. Fallon was sacked from riding the filly, and we all wondered how long he would remain at the top. Well, he gave us a pretty swift answer on the Tuesday of the July meeting, a card which he absolutely dominated with four or five winners. The message from Fallon that afternoon was, it'll take a bit more than that, boys, to shift me from my position at the top. And they kick away over a mile and a quarter. And where is the early pace? It's Pilsudski that goes on by about a neck, but plenty the dip the inside. They're sitting one and two. Bosra Sham is third. Sasuru fourth. Held about the back is Allied Forces as they kick to the first quarter mile. And it's Pilsudski on the outside of Benny the Dip. Benny the Dip gains the day now. Goes on by length. Pilsudski in second. Bosra Sham, Sasuru. And the back of the pack is Allied Forces. If anything, he's steadied the pace on Benny the Dip. Pilsudski in second. Boswell Sham with the white sleeves sitting in third. The red cap on the outside is Sasuru and then Allied Forces. And they go through the first half mile in this coral eclipse, the hundredth running of this eclipse stakes. And it's Benny the Dip, the Vodafone Derby favourite, uh, the Vodafone Derby winner, showing the way to. In second place, Pilsudski, then Sasuru making ground on the outside of Boswell Sham. And then we've got Allied Forces. So they come down towards the halfway stage and the turn out of the back stretch. Benny the Dip leading. Quite a steady pace. It's going to be a kick to the finish here. Pilsudski in second, and then on the inside we've got Boz Sham, the inside that is, of Sasuru. And Boz Sham might just be kept in by Sasuru, and Allied Forces has got the whole manoeuvres covered as they make the final turn. Indication as to how narrow the course is at that juncture, at the top of the home straight now. And it's Benny the Dip, Pilsudski, Boz Sham's on the inside. Sasuru pulling double, Allied Forces played late. They've got three furlongs to go, and Boz Sham is trying to commit next to the rails, but Pilsudski is going as well. He has got no room on Boz Sham, has to pull that one wide. Down to the two furlong marker now, Pilsudski uh, goes on, Benny the Dip the rail. Boz Sham in third place and being ridden along, getting closer now down of the final furlong. The Breeders' Cup winner, Pilsetsky in the lead. The Derby winner, Benny the Dip in second. The Champion Stakes winner, Bosra Sham in third. Flat to the boards, making ground, but Pilsetsky got first one on them. Pilsetsky, here comes Bosra Sham the outside. It's Pilsetsky by a link. Bosra Sham is finishing fast at the line. Pilsetsky, Bosra Sham.